Hi everybody, welcome to a 30 minutes flow. So this flow will be focusing a lot on heat region. We will be working towards flying pigeons, so building towards this peak pose. If arm balancing or flying pigeon is not in your practice at the current moment, just stay in your figure four chair or you can stay stretch out in pigeon pose. Okay, when you're ready, let's get started. Let's start lying down onto your backs. So we're going to start warming up the hips, especially the outer hips. So we're going to take figure four. So bend your both knees, bring your right ankle onto that left thigh. Right, you can interlace your hands behind that left thigh so you can hook your arms through that hole that you made. Flex the right foot as much as you can. Take a breath, inhale. As you exhale, roll the shoulders back and down and pull that right shin close to your body. Try to bring that right foot as close as you can towards that left shoulder. At the same time, drawing that right knee away from your body. So you're going to feel a stretch on that right outer hips. Try to keep your lower back and sacrum pressing down to the floor as much as you can. You also can choose to maybe hold on to your left shin and press that right shin down further towards your body. So your choice here, whatever that feels good or whatever that works for you to have a deeper stretch. Last three, two, and one. Right, cross your right thigh over to that left. We're going to take a twist. Extend both hands out to the side. Drop your leg to your left side. You can place your hands on top of that right leg or on top of your legs. And then twist to your right. Keeping the right shoulder down, look towards your right hand. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Bring back to the center, uncross that leg, switch sides. Place the left ankle onto that right thigh. Flex the left foot. Right, you can interlace your hands behind that left thigh, or you can grab onto your left shin. Inhale, deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, roll the shoulders down, shoulder blades pressing down and push that left shin closer to your chest. Keep flexing that left foot and draw that left knee away from you a little more. Feel the stretch on your left outer hips, your left glutes for five, four, press that lower back down more, three, two, and one. Right, release your hands, go for a twist, cross your left thigh onto that right, drop your legs to your right side this time, press that left shoulder down, look to the left, you can place your right hand and rest onto your legs, inhale, spine is long, exhale, go for your twist. Deep breaths here, last three more breaths. Last two. One more breath. And slowly release back to the center. Help both knees into your chest. Just rock yourself all the way up to seated pose. Alright, now let's do seated figure four. So placing your right ankle onto that left thigh. Your left foot stays grounded to the floor. Right. Hands behind you can come up to your fingertips. So maybe walking your left foot slightly closer to your body at the same time use your fingertips to support yourself and sit up nice and tall so your aim if you can to keep that spine straight at the same time bring your chest and your shins as close as you can to one another breathing there another three another two more breaths One last breath, inhale, and exhale. Slowly release, walking your left foot away from you, straighten out that left leg. Right, you can place your right foot on top of that left inner thigh, sorry, left thigh, 
left hip crease to get a half lotus position all right if this is difficult for you you can take janu susasana right foot is against that left inner thigh so wherever you are let's take a twist first so pressing your right hand use your right hand to press that right knee down you're going to twist your body towards the left side left fingertip is behind at the spine inhale sit up nice and tall exhale push through that right knee and twist to your left looking behind your left shoulder Last three, last two, and one. Slowly release back to the center. Inhale, reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Stay here, we breathe for another five, four, three, two. And one, slowly coming back up to the center, sit up tall, release that right leg, shake it out a little bit. Right, switch sides now, bend both knees, step down. Right now, left ankle onto that right thigh. Fingertips behind to support, maybe walk your right foot in slightly closer, flexing your left foot. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. And exhale, right, bring your chest and your shin close towards one another. Try to draw your shoulders down, relax the shoulders for three, two, and one. Right, release, straighten that right leg all the way to the front. Right. Taking a half lotus or Janu Sasasana, your choice. Right. Place your left hand onto your left knee and then reach your right fingertips around all the way to the back. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, push through that, push your left knee down, twist to your right, look over that right shoulder. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Gently release. Go for your forward fold. Flex your right foot in front. Inhale, reach up tall. Exhale, bow down. Reaching your forehead towards that front shin, squaring the hips down. If you're taking your half lotus, make sure your left knee is pressing down towards the floor as much as you can. Last three, last two, and one. Now gently release it up tall. Right, release that left leg, shake it up. Let's come to tabletop position so you can cross your ankle, come to your knees and to your hands. All right, from here, we're going to warm up the hips. So as you inhale this time, reach your right leg back, bend the knee, open up your hips, scorpion tail. So point your right knee up high to the sky, squeeze the hamstring, bring your right heel close towards that left arm. As you exhale, slowly start to swing the right knee towards the right side, taking a cactus legs. And then all the way, you're going to bring it forward, bring your right knee to tap that left elbow. Good, and then circle and open up the hip, back to that scorpion tail, inhale. And then slowly towards the side, take the cactus legs all the way to the front, right knee tapping that left elbow and circle and open the hips back up, scorpion tail. Let's try that with your left knee off the floor. So if you need to, you can drop, take this uh, option another two more times. If not, tucking the left toes under, lift your left knee off. Let's come to your scorpion tail, downward dog scorpion tail. As you draw your right knee to the side cactus legs, you're going to shift your weight forward, shift your body forward to a plank pose. And then slowly bring your right knee to tap that left elbow. And then circle back, open up the hip, scorpion tail. And then again one more time, as you lean forward, bring your right knee to the side, take cactus legs. And then all the way, bring your right knee to cross under, tapping that left elbow. And then circle, open up the hips back up, scorpion tail. Right, let's draw a circle with your knees, draw a big circle. Right, three times clockwise, circling up the hips. And then three times anti-clockwise. So you're going to start to feel your right glutes working and burning. I feel mine. Very nice. When you're done, meet me back in scorpion tail. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, step your right foot outside of that right hand. 
left foot outside of your left hand, Malasana. Right, palms to your heart. Right, just a quick one to use your elbows right, to push your knees out. And then once you're there, once your knees are as wide as you can, you're going to try to get, right, go on for the active stretch here. So you're going to hover and release the elbows from that knees, but keep that knees open out as wide as you can. So start squeezing and contracting your glutes, your butt muscles to keep that knees outward as much as you can. Good. For five, four, three, squeeze more, two, and one. Very nice. Let's come back to tabletop, palms down. I set both knees down again. Let's reset in tabletop on the left side. Right, this time reach your left leg back, bend the knee, open up the hip, scorpion tail. Again, squeeze the hamstring, left heel towards your right bum. We're slowly gonna circle your left knee all the way to the side, taking the cactus legs, and then bring it forward all the way to the front to cross under, left knee, tap the right elbow, and open up the hips, back to scorpion tail. One more just like this, out to the side, right, do not go too fast. And then go towards the front, left knee to tap the right elbow and circle, open up, scorpion tail. Either you can stay with knees down or join me to tuck your right toes. Lift that right knee off for your scorpion tail. As you come forward to your plank pose, cactus your left leg, left knee out to the side. And slowly, you're gonna cross it under, left knee to tap the right elbow. Circle the hips, open up, scorpion tail. Nice, one more time. Right. Shift forward as you draw your left knee up to the side for cactus, keeping your knees up high and then go all the way to cross under left knee towards the right elbow to touch and circle back up, scorpion tail. Right. Drawing three circles clockwise and anti-clockwise from here. So keep squeezing that left butt cheek, draw as big circle as you can. Right. When you're done, Meet me back in that scorpion tail. Uh, you're gonna start to feel the burn, but that's where you're gonna work on the strength of that glutes. Inhale here, left knee up to the sky. Exhale, step your left foot outside of your left palm. Right foot outside, coming to that malasana. This time, keeping your knees out wide. Right, then place your palms to your heart, elbows not touching that knees. Come to your tippy toes. Open the knees up wide, squeeze your bum for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Palms down. Let's hop back to downward dog. Take your time to pad out your feet left and right, swaying the hips side to side, loosening up. We're going to do a different version of vinyasa, adding on with a little lunge and a push up. So let's do it together. In your downward dog, you're gonna step your right foot outside of your right palm, coming to lizard. If you need to, left knee can be down to the floor. If you're keeping that left knee up, let's go for three push ups here. Down and up for one, bend the elbows, up, two, bend elbows, up for three. Back to your downward dog. Now on the left side, left leg steps outside of your left palm. Three push ups, bend the elbow, push up one, bend it in, up for two. Last one, up for three, back to downward dog. And, and then from here, we're gonna glide your body forward all the way to up dog. So if you can, look in between your palms, you're gonna keep your chest as low as you can as you slide it forward up to your downward dog. Right. Your choice to go for a second chaturanga. So keep your toes tucked under behind. Right. Lower your body down to chaturanga. Push up to plank, downward dog. Right, so this is your vinyasa for today. Right, you can take the option not to go for the lizard push-up or not to go for the second chaturanga. Right, as we inhale now, let's reach your right leg up to the sky, three leg a dog. Exhale, right knee to that right tricep. You're gonna slide it down to that wrist, back up to that tricep. Good, four more times. Down, up, four, down, up, three, down, up, two, down, up, hold it there for three, two, and one. Swing that right leg, open up the hip, scorpion tail, bend the right knee on top. One more breath, inhale, 
Exhale now, right knee again towards that right tricep or armpit as high as you can. Now you're going to release that right toes towards the left wrist. So imagine floating that pigeon. Right, this time, hover the right shin just one inch off the ground and then you're going to crunch up, bring your hips up. Another four more times, down and up for four, down, up for three, down, up for two, down, up for one, and then back to downward dog, step your right foot back. Right, same thing on the left side, reach that left leg up, inhale, exhale left knee to that left tricep, slowly slide down to the wrist, and go up, five, down, four, down, and up for three, down, up for two, down, up, hold that knee to the tricep for three, for two, and one. Swing that left leg up, open the left he hip, scorpion tail. Bend that left knee on top. One more breath in here. Exhale, left knee to the left armpit as high as you can. Release that toes, left toes towards that right wrist. And then let's bring it down to hover that shin and crunch it back up. Five, down, up, four, down, up, three, down, up, two, and down, crunch it up, hold it, step back, down, down, breathe. Right, one round of vinyasa, so step your right foot outside the right hand. Right, either stay here or three push-ups. One, two, three. Downward dog, left foot outside, three push-ups. One, two, three. Downward dog. If you need to drop your knees down, look between your hands, glide forward as low as you can. Upward dog, skip the second chaturanga if you need to. Downward dog, exhale. Pad out your feet if you need to. Alright, let's move on. On your next inhale, let's reach that right leg up to the sky. Three leg dog. As you exhale, bring that right knee to that right tricep or right armpit as high as you can. Now release that toes to tap that wrist. To reach the right wrist if you can, hold there for three, two, and one, step your right foot in between your hands. High crescent lunge, inhale, reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale, sit lower. Keep that back leg straight, right? Keep that back heel towards the imaginary wall behind. Standing split, reach your hands down, keep your left leg up nice and high. Both hands down in front. If you like to work on your balance, right hand wrap that ankle or even both hands wrapping behind that right ankle. For five, four, three, two, and one. Warrior three, slowly, if you need to, fingertips down, or slowly bring your palms to your heart, rising up to your warrior three. Try to square that left hip down as much as you can, and then slowly stand up onto that right leg, Take a figure four, left ankle on your right thigh, reach your arms forward, chair, figure four, chair. Going back to that warrior three, so left knee to the chest, and reach your left leg back, warrior three. And then figure four, sit down. Left knee to the chest, extend it back, warrior three. One more time, left knee to the chest. Left ankle onto your right thigh, sit down. Good. One more time, left knee to the chest, extend back, warrior three. This time, let's take a half moon pose. Reach your right hand down, open up your hips to the left, left hand up to the sky. Right, stay here, open up the left hips even more and look up for your left fingertips for balance and for challenge, sorry. Slowly bending the right knee, step that left foot down behind to warrior two. Widen your stance, bending to that right knee. One breath, there, deep inhale. Exhale, you're going to cut wheel, your hands down to the front and swing that right leg back, open up the right hip, scorpion tail. Exhale, right knee to that right tricep. This time again, release that right toes. Try to tap that left wrist. And we hold that for five, four, three. Right toes to the left wrist, touch two. 
and one. Set your right shin down. Right, let's take an active pigeon pose. So keep that left foot tucked and let toes tucked under behind. Right, so from here, right, try to keep your right bum or right hips off the floor, pressing down to your right shin. And if you can, once you're there, reach both arms up. Take a breath here, inhale. Exhale, you're going to twist towards your left side. So both hands pointing towards your left foot. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, you're going to swing your arms back as you bow forward. Try not to let your chest rest onto that shin. So go down as low as you can. Two more times, inhale. Exhale to twist. Inhale up. Exhale, reach forward. One more inhale. Exhale to twist. Inhale, exhale, reach forward. Let's hold there for five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Palms down. Step your right foot back, downward facing dog. Let's go one round of vinyasa. So right foot outside, lizard for push up three, two, and one step back, downward dog. Left leg steps outside, push up for three, two, and one. Step back, downward dog. Look in between your palms. Inhale, exhale, glide forward, upward dog. Chaturanga, hips down, push up the plank, downward dog, breathe. Catch your breath here in your downward dog. Inhale. Long exhale. Pardon my hair. One more inhale. Exhale. Next inhale this time. Sweep that left leg up. Inhale. Exhale. Left knee to that left armpit. Slowly release the left toes to tap the wrist. Try to tap it in. Hold that for three. For two. And one. We control. Step forward. High crescent lunge. Inhale. Reach up taller. Exhale, sit lower. Tucking that tailbone in. Straighten that back leg even more. Standing split. Reach both hands forward as you kick your right leg up to the sky. If you like to walk on your balance, left hand holding on to that left ankle. Both hands holding on to that left ankle. Kicking that right leg up nice and high. For five, four, Three, two, and one. All right. Release your hands to the front. Coming up to your warrior tree. Take your time. Maybe reaching both hands to your heart center. Squaring the right hip down. Nice. And then stand up, right knee to the chest. Let's take a figure for a chair. Right ankle onto that left thigh. Right. Sit down as you reach both hands forward. Slowly stand back up, right knee to your chest, extend it back to your warrior three. Ooh. Oh. And slowly, right knee to the chest, sit down. Even I find this challenging. Right knee to the chest, extend back warrior three. One more, drawing your right knee to the chest, sit back down. Good. Just one more. Draw your right knee to the chest. Extend back, warrior three. Right, half moon pose from here, reaching that left hand down. Open that right hip to the side. Right hand can place onto the right hip. Open up first. And then reach your right hand up to the sky for a challenge. Gazing up and to your right hand. Last three. Two. And one, warrior two. So bend that left knee in front, slowly land that right foot. Open up, widen your stance, warrior two. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, bring your hands down all the way to the front. Left leg swings all the way back. Bend that left knee, open the hip, scorpion tail. Exhale, left knee towards that left tricep. Release that left toe towards your right wrist and hold it there for five. Four, three, left toes to the right, reach to touch, two, and one. Nice, set your left shin down for your active pigeon. Right knee is down to the floor, keep your right toes tucked under. Left hip is off the floor, so push through that left shin, 
reach both arms up, inhale, exhale, twist to your right, reaching towards that right foot, inhale, back to centre, exhale, bow forward, inhale, exhale, inhale up, exhale, swing the arms back, one more, inhale, exhale, inhale up, exhale, swing the arms back, hold it there for five, Four, keep pressing that left shin, squeeze the left palm, two, and one, nice, palms down, right, lift yourself back up, push your left leg back, down, right, let's do that vinyasa, this time let's start from the left foot, stepping outside of your left hand, three, lizard push up for one, two, three, now, right, dog. right foot steps outside for one, two, and three, back to downward dog. Option to drop the knees down, you can glide forward as low as you can, come to upward dog. Skip the second chaturanga, push up to plank, downward dog. Right. Press through the palms, grip the mat, stretch the shoulders, ground the heels down to the floor. Right. Inhale, sweep that right leg up. Exhale, right knee to that right tricep, toes to wrist, hold it there for three, two, and one. Step your right foot in between your hands, left hand stays down, reach your right hand up, let's go for your twist. Coming for your revolve half moon balancing pose, so from here, walk your hands forward, slowly start to pick that left leg off, keep the hips square, twist your body to the right, look up towards that right hand. Use a block underneath your left hand if you need to. Slowly coming to warrior tree as you square your hips down, aeroplane arms out to the side. And then half moon pose, reaching your right hand down, open the hips to the left side. Hands can, left hand can be onto your hip if you need to. Arms out, left hand up to the sky if you can. We're going to add a little challenge to do something like a fire hydrant. So from here, reach your left hand down towards the side in line with your shoulder. So left hand out to the side. You're going to bring your left toes towards the front, circle all the way to the left, left toes to tap your left hand. And then circle all the way back for your half moon, three. Left toes bringing to the front to tap, flex the foot and back out, two. If you need to keep that left knee bent, right, to take that cactus leg position. One more time, left toes out, tap your left hand and back. One, warrior two, so bend that right knee, again step down, open up to the side, warrior two, exhale, wing your hands down, swing that right leg back, open up the hip, scorpion tail, take pigeon pose this time, so just drop your right shin down to the floor, let's go for resting pigeon to stretch out the hips, so if you like to go a little more, bring your front shin parallel to the front edge of the mat. When you're ready, crawl yourself down, rest here in your resting pigeon. Right, for five, four, three, two, and one. One hand back to you. Right, bring your left knee, walk it to the center, right, and then bring your right ankle onto your left thigh. We're going to come to figure four chair from here. So walk your hands back, step your left foot down, come to figure four chair pose. All right, either you stay here or you can walk onto that flying pigeon. So bring your ankle, bring your shin right, onto the upper arms, hook your right foot against your left tricep. Maybe try to lean forward, bend the elbows, foot your back leg off. Right, if you can, then slowly see if you can extend that left leg all the way back. Come to your flying pigeon. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Bend the left knee, step that left foot down, release that right leg. I take a forward full exhale. Right, wherever you are, let's come back to downward facing dog. Just finish up on the left side. So just stretch up here in your downward dog. 
Uh, let's move on to the left side. As you inhale, reach that left leg up to the sky. Exhale, left knee to that left tricep to tap. Toes release to your wrists. Hold there for three, two, and one. Step your left foot down in between your hands. Right, the right hand stays down. Let's go for your twist. Reach your left hand up to the sky. Nice. And then revolve half moon. So crawl your right hand forward. Slowly pick that back leg off. Keep your hips squared. Turn your body to twist to the left. Revolve half moon. One more breath. And slowly square that hips down. Warrior three. Bringing both arms out to the side. And then half moon pose. Right, twist your body now to the right. Reach your left fingertips down. Right hand up to the sky. Very nice. Let's go for your fire hydrant. So bring your right hand down in line with that shoulders. Right, flex the right toes, foot behind. You're going to bring the toes to touch your hand. You can keep that right knee bent if you need to three times. Bring the right leg forward all the way to the right to tap and extend back three. Toes to tap, extend back two. One more toes to tap and extend back for one. Right hand up to the sky again. Let's come back down to your warrior two. Big inhale, sit down low. Exhale, both hands cut your down. Swing that left leg back, open up the knee, scorpion tip. Pigeon pose, set your left shin down to the floor. Square your hips down, right? adjust your own intensity of the stretch. Inhale, exhale, fall forward. Let's come to the resting pigeon. Slowly release. Right, come back to your palms. All right. From here, right, walk your right knee a little closer to your body. Place the left ankle just in front of that right thigh. Tuck your back toes and step down to your right foot. Coming to your figure four chair. Right, so sit your sit down or reach your bicep close to your ears. Either you stay here, you can work on flying pigeon on this side. Again, palms down, resting your front shin onto the upper arms and flex that right foot as much as you can to hook. Flex the left foot to hook against that right tricep. Lean forward, bend your elbows, press into that upper arms and try to float that back leg off. Right, if you can, and then try to extend it back all the way to that flying pigeon. Holding there, five, four, Three, two, and one. Bending the right knee behind. Step it down. Release that next forward foot. Right, bend one knee at a time. Pedal out to stretch. Slowly take a seat. Good work, everybody. Lie down to your backs. Just hug your thighs. Hug your shins. Hug your thighs to your chest. Rock side to side. Let's end on with a twist. Right, both arms stretch out to the side. Drop both legs to the right. Look to your left, pressing that left shoulder down. Deep breaths in and out through the nose. Back to the center, switch sides. Back to the center. Right, hug your knees. Right, bring your head up, shoulders up. And then bring your forehead towards that knee. Curl yourself like a ball. Breathing here for five, four, three, Two and one. Right, slowly release. Right. You can come to your final Shavasana resting pose. Right, if you need time, you can take time just to stretch it out. If you need to take happy baby or do whatever stretch you like go if you like to go for your wheel, your bridge, if your hips are open, you can do that as well. Thank you all for joining me. So this is the end of the 30 minutes flow. I think I 
exceeded a little bit. So continue to practice a flying pigeon. All right. And then if you like to, you can watch my other videos. We're working on different arm balancing poses. Right. Namaste.